up, family. So it is payday. Um, I just got back from the bank, getting all of my money out. I have my budget by paycheck workbook here, so I know exactly what bills are supposed to go into what envelope. And you guys like the cash tray that I made for myself? Straight from the dollar store. Um, I just got those little wooden trays and just wrapped it in some Dollar Tree uh, diamond wrap. And yeah, cash tray. I told y'all, I'm not trying to go broke, I'm trying to save money. So I really wanted a cash tray, but I also didn't want to spend money on a cash tray. So for $5, this will do. But okay. So, um, last month was a lot, like it, it was a learning experience, but I plan on going into this month with like a renewed strength because I, I will admit I was a little defeated last month, like just with my car insurance issue and then not being able to stuff as much as I wanted to, I just, I felt real defeated. But this month, I'm over that. Okay, every month you have a new chance. It's one of the sayings that the budget mom has in this book. So every month is a new chance for you to get it together. And it's a new month and I'm gonna get it together. <laughs> so I'm not gonna talk too much because I don't want this to be long. So we're starting with the gas, which gets its usual 30, which we have at 310. So one, two, three. And we will be putting this into gas. Oh, I remembered my pen this time. Okay, so today is the 5th, I believe, yes. 30, so that brings us to 30. Alright. So 30 is in gas, set this to the side. Uh, grocery. Again, gets its usual 60, right? Yes, 320s. One, two, three. trackers but then at the same time all right so grocery did have 95 in it the last time we were here but I went grocery shopping and spent all of that I didn't mark that down on this tracker but that's okay just gonna cross that out so we put 60 in and now all we have left is 60 in grocery Household. Oh, there's money left in household. So there is ten dollars left, and we are going to take this out because that'll go into our jar upstairs. All right, household gets twenty-five, which is two tens and a five. So I finally figured out what I want to do with the change that I have upstairs in the cash. That I have because I told you guys I was doing the one dollar and five dollar bill challenge, and I was also like collecting all of my change. And so, what did I just do? Because I could have sworn I took out a five, and now I don't see it. Or did I not? No, I did not. Okay. So household gets 25 
and we took that 10 out so I'll just cross that out as well but like I was saying I get so distracted so easily guys um I'm gonna use all of that uh, extra saved up money for um, the my student loans so I know they gave us like that um, rest period I guess you could call it because of the pandemic so that we're you don't have to pay anything until September so when September comes around I want to be able to take that money and put it on my student loans but okay now into self-care which is also empty because I had to get stuff all right so self-care gets 40 trying to cooperate he keeps falling but all right so this 40 goes in here put the tracker back like lately all right so self-care household gas and grocery are all done so we are finished with our everyday category All right, and now we are into prep and landing. All right, so beauty, what do you get this month? Nothing, because I don't need to get anything. All right, so beauty, we can sit to the side because I'm not stuffing that. And glasses, I did order glasses. I got them, I still didn't print out that darn tracker. Like, got my prescription, went to the eye doctors, ordered my new glasses, and there's still money left in here, so. We have some out money. Two dollars left in glasses. So we will sit that to the side. I need to find a better place for my prescription. But I'm actually gonna change glasses into a miscellaneous category. So I'm gonna take this sticker off and I will put a new sticker on that says miscellaneous for just like other little random things like I need to get a new desk because we only have one currently and technically I had bought it for Tom Tom for his room so he could do his homework but then he never used it and then I was like well if you're not going to use it then I'm going to use it but his desk isn't big enough for like my printer and my computer plus like my tripods and all that stuff to sit on so I need to get my own desk he can have his little desk back okay so glasses well miscellaneous what do you get as $20 and that's just two tens so miscellaneous is just gonna be for like the title says miscellaneous things that come up that I want to get so that is done it gets us 20 and I really need to print that tracker I don't know what's wrong with me like my memory is not okay okay so now we are doing Theo and he gets his usual 10. Which is two fives. Now, if my tracker is correct, we should have $40 in here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Yes. Alright, so Theo has 40 in his envelope. Put his little tracker back. And Tom Tom also gets two fives. Not a good sound. Okay. So Tom Tom should have $40 as well. 
40, just two 20s. Like sometimes I really hate new money because it always sticks and then it makes me feel like it's more than one. Even when it's not. But all right. So. Make sure my Jacksons are all facing the same way. Nope, see. Okay, so two, four, six, eight, one, two, four, six. Hundred and sixty dollars is now in back to school. Sure, I'm gonna need to spend every bit of this money because kids grow so much so fast for no reason all right like I was saving this one outfit for Theo and he finally wore it today boy went to go put it on his arms are too long sleeves are too short like why do you keep growing who told you to keep growing? Okay, I'm dropping stuff. All right, but prep and landing is now done. All right, so now we are at our long-term category, which is retirement, new house, new car, and new car is only getting 20 today and when I was doing this I honestly felt like really bad like oh you're only putting $20 in a new car so that gets a 20 but then I watched a video from another girl her channel is journey to wisdom and wealth and she was saying how like it's not like don't get caught up it is not the 20th have mercy Jesus about like don't get in caught up in the hype and do what works best for you like don't feel bad if you don't stuff as much as you see other people stuff like basically do what you can do like you're doing the best that you can like you're already making a choice the budget like she made a whole video if I can find the link to it I will put it in the description box below but it was so true like it really touched my spirit she even like her sign off at the end was like save your money drink your water pay your bills like that is so true that is so very true I don't even know what I'm stressing about like I am doing the best that I can with what I have like some people don't save at all and I've made the choice to save so I didn't even finish this so busy talking all right, so $20 went into new car. So now I should have $140 in new car. And I'm just gonna trust the tracker because I don't feel like taking that money back out and counting it. Sorry, guys. Like, it was a struggle to get it in here. All right, so new car is done. Moving down to new house that also gets 20 So now new house has 50, 100, 20, 30. 130. getting $65 
which we have as a 50, a 10, and a 5. Okay, so I did do something wrong because I took out the proper amount of money, but now I'm short. So what did I do? What did I do? my oil life the other day and I only have 50% left. I love that my car does that. It tells you how much and then it'll just the screen will just, if you go to 20%, it'll just show up and so you won't be able to see anything else unless you change it until you change your oil, which I like reminds me that I need to get an oil change, but I'm going to get an oil change very soon. 50, 100, 50, 70. So this is 170. Now in car maintenance. The 
and I didn't even finish it. Why do I keep doing that? telling y'all the way I was feeling last month I was like this isn't gonna work I'm not gonna be able to do this as soon as I try to get my life together it's just like everything is coming at me I can't do it but then I got to thinking and I did virtual church and they were saying like, you know, all right, this is getting 65. Let me stay focused. Emergency fund gets 65. Y'all. I thought I did something wrong, but meanwhile, Abraham Lincoln had just been staring me in my face like, you so stupid. Like, look at his face. His facial expression is just so disappointed in me right now because he's been sitting there the whole time. And I'm thinking I did something wrong. Okay. Oh my goodness, I just had a very, very slow moment. Um, but here's the 65 for emergency fund. My God. Um, but they were basically talking about in church how like the struggles that you go through, like you don't know what God has planned for you. So the struggles you go through sometimes are to get you prepared for what he has in store for you. And the way I was feeling last month and a little bit of this week, like my blessing that's coming is about to be huge. Like it's about to be so amazing because I smile on the outside, but inside I I just, I, mm -mm. It has not been good. Because I told y'all about like the funding thing that my bank does and how they were moving money out of my savings account to put into my checking. And so I got more vigilant about checking my bank account and stuff. But like, it was just like, oh my goodness. And they kept doing it for bills that I didn't even know. Like I wasn't keeping track of my bills the way I was supposed to. Can't even blame the bank. So, yeah. So this is 200, 10, 15, 20. All right, so 220 is now an emergency fund. But anyway, as they were putting stuff into, taking out of my savings to put into my checking, I just was watching my savings dwindle, dwindle down. And I was like, I'm just never gonna be able to get ahead. I uh, just let me put this five in. All right. Five I thought I lost, but was there the whole time. Okay, so retirement can go back into long term. You're all done with build. the envelopes we have done it we have made it okay so now let's see if we can color in any of our blocks for our saving stuff and I actually need to take away some of my subscriptions like the Mandalorian is done like I finished the whole season so I'm tempted to get rid of Disney Plus because nobody really watches it. Like, aside from me, when The Mandalorian is available, that's the only time I watch it. WandaVision, I watched like two episodes. I'm not gonna be able to do it. It's not that deep for me. So, I might get rid of Disney Plus. Um, Life Sum, I also might get rid of that. Like just wait until my yearly subscription is done and then just be not renew it um, I definitely need to get rid of either stars or HBO max I have to get rid of one of those 
because I feel like I'm just accumulating subscriptions and a new bill has popped up because with my work schedule and then Thomas is doing some new sort of training for his job where his work schedule is now different and he has to like basically be at work all day or at least like on his computer all day taking these classes like yesterday he was supposed to pick up the boys from school but I'm at work and I get a call from the school saying that the boys were still there like 20 minutes after he was supposed to pick them up so I call him and so he answered the phone real nonchalant like everything was good and I'm like the boys are still at school the school called me so he's like oh yeah I'm gonna get him cool so I go about doing my work. But then I get a call about an hour later. The boys are still at school. He has not picked them up. So I have to run to my supervisors, explain to them what is happening. They let me leave so I can go pick up the boys from school, bring them home. And then I'm blowing up Thomas's phone like I have to get back to work. Where are you? And he's like, oh, I've talked to the neighbor. And you can take the boys over to the neighbor's house and the neighbor will watch them. Ugh, so that is what had to happen. Took the boys over to the neighbor's house. The neighbor watched them. But with I said all of that to say, I we now have to get aftercare for the boys. So as soon as they get off of school, they'll hop on the bus and the bus will take them to the um, kind of like the boys and girls club on base. And they'll stay there and I think they can stay there until like 7.30. But that is a new bill that we have to have. So I need to get rid of some things so that I can have that money available to pay for aftercare. So um, I added some new things to my sinking funds tracker. So we have retirement. We have, oh, we can fill some things in for retirement and emergency. Um, Savings, I have to get this back together because it is in shambles at the moment uh travel that's still a no car no but again new car we're not really stressing about it because we gave ourselves like four years to work on that um new house i added up here and we also don't need to worry about that because that's for future plans like it's we're not stressing over this I also added Black Friday, Christmas, and birthdays. Because those are things that I need to save for. Like this Black Friday, I didn't have any money saved up, so I didn't go shopping for anything. And then Christmas, that's usually like the mad dash a couple months before it comes up that I start putting away money for that, but I wanna do that longer now. So I gave myself a budget of $1,500 for Christmas. So that's $75 each block is worth $75 and then for birthdays my mom is my mom's birthday is this month in September February and then Thomas's birthday is in March then Tom Tom's birthday is in April and then Theo's birthday is in June no July yes his birthday is in July so I want to start saving for birthdays. I gave myself a budget of $1,000, so each block is worth 50. So I need to get some uh, more cash envelopes for that, which I do have, but they're like cash envelopes that I made myself years ago. Like they're not, they're not laminated or anything. Like they're real remedial, <laughs> but they will get the job done. So I'm just going to use them, put new labels on them. I will bring them up at a later date, but yes. So we added birthdays, Christmas, and Black Friday. Now, we have in retirement, uh, that's long term, $220. So right now we have $100 covered in, colored in for retirement, and it has $220. Let me get a crayon or a I might just use my pen because I don't feel like getting up. So, this now has 220. So, we are going to color in two blocks. I'm going to 
tell I'm not prepared. I should have just got up and got a crayon because this is ugly. But whatever. Work with what you got, Drea. Okay, so ugly. Um, and then emergency fund. Let me double check that. All right, so long term, put you back. And I also, um, emergency, here we go. I also, I think maybe federal. So when I went in there to um, draw, withdraw my money, I asked them how many savings accounts are you allowed to have and she told me I'm allowed to have as many as I want and I can create them myself. So I have created a savings account for um, retirement, my emergency fund. Um, I still have my usual savings account as well as what other ones did I do? Um, new car and new house. So all of the long term category I created a savings account for. Um, an emergency, I also created a savings account for. So that way I can just put, once that money meets its goal, I can just put it right into that savings account. Or even if like once the um, new car and new house, once they get to a limit where like the envelope is really full and I just wanna take it out and not have that much money in the house anymore, I have a savings account to put it right into, designated for that, so at least it can, you know, start to generate some dividends. But okay, and I didn't even add this up. Alright. So the emergency fund is now done. $100, 200 10 15 20 So this is also $220. So let me adjust this tracker. Okay, you're still looking at me so disappointed. I had a moment, Abe. My bad. Depositing this stuff before 
September rolls around. That way, it'll go straight to towards the principal and not towards interest. But alright guys, that brings us to the end of this video. Please make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Happy saving. Bye.